I'm Karen LeBlanc. I'm a design tourist. Unlike the typical tourist, I travel the world in search of original design finds. Along the way, I meet some brilliant design minds and explore the link between culture and creativity. And I bring it all back to you for a global dose of design inspiration on The Design Tourist. So a true design tourist should always mix with the locals to get the inside scoop on design. So I thought I'd stop by the Red Lion Pub for a pint and to pick the brains of the locals. Cheers! So the Design Tourist is in Miami Beach and when you think of this place, this is what you picture. Beautiful white sandy beaches, glamorous nightlight in High Point, North Carolina. Furniture is a big deal. Behind me, the largest high boy in the world. I'm here with the Kino Brothers. They are antiques and art experts. They are TV stars best known for their Fox show, Buried Treasure, and PBS Antiques Roadshow. And we've got a special treat. If we were to visit the Kino Brothers in their New York apartment, this is what it would look like. They're going to take us on a personal all-access tour. So come along. So I've been telling you during Miami Art Week that not only is it all about art, but it's where celebrity culture converges as well. And look who I bumped into. It's Tyson Beckford. Not only is he a supermodel, but he's an artist as well. Well, I mean, I, I paint, I write, I, I, you know, I'm a photographer, I'm a model, I'm an actor. You know, I, He's hey. basically a renaissance man is what he's trying to say. Not just a pretty face. A lot going on up here and here too. At the neighboring show, Design Miami, I found Lady Gaga's furniture muse, Benjamin Rollins Caldwell, who repurposes old computers into futuristic furnishings. Benjamin, tell me about this idea. Where did it come from? Well, I discovered uh, 11 pallets of computers in an abandoned warehouse and thought I needed to do something. So I love this piece. This is the computer inside out. Outside, you have the inside of the computer, the motherboards, and inside, you have the computer shell. So Benjamin, I have to ask, because a lot of people watching this are probably wondering, is this furniture comfortable? Of course it is, it's very comfortable. There you have it, you heard it from the man himself. Charles Spencer has been gracious enough to invite me to his family estate, the Althor Palm. It's been in his family for 500 years, and the antiques in this beautiful estate are the inspiration for an entire furniture line. Charles, thanks so much for having me. Karen, what a pleasure. If you follow me, I'll give you a little tour and we'll see what it's all about. Lights around your ceiling. So and you it take rocks around. your living space. Rock it. And your world. And your world. <laughs> Window shopping is an essential part of the hunt. It's where you'll find the latest trends and products that are often old trends with a new twist. So who needs wallpaper when you have this incredible light fixture that casts this light grid against the wall. This lighting fixture is designed by New Zealand lighting designer David Trubridge. It's made of sustainable bamboo attached to plastic grommets and it creates such a beautiful pattern on the wall. As a bonus, you get this statement piece, the lighting fixture, and wallpaper. And now, I show Palais Francais. I am sitting in Le Huit. It is by a French designer and manufacturer called Isidore and it is a piece of outdoor lawn furniture that becomes two chairs in what? Lawn chair? Watch this. And lounge chair. Hey, are you the design tourist? Well, yes I am. You saw my billboards, right? I think I did. Oh. <laughs> I recognize you. Hop on in, I'm gonna oh. take you home. Oh, awesome. Onward we go. So for now, I bid you adieu as I ride off into the North Carolina sunset to prepare for another day of trend spotting, celebrity designer sightings, and furniture finds. Keep watching as we step outside the showrooms to experience the people, places, culture, and cuisine in this friendly city. And of course, more furnishings. <laughs>